Another man came to Buddha and asked, Why am I so poor? Buddha replied, You are poor because you don't practice generosity. You don't practice charity. He said, I'm so poor, how can I help others? <coughs> then Buddha said, I will tell you the five treasures you have. The treasure which we all have, everybody, is the first our face. We can smile at others and we can make someone happy. The second one, we have our mouth. We can speak good words and make someone feel happy and make them life good. Then we have our eyes and we can see something good in others and we can appreciate it always. Then we have our mind. We can always think in a positive way and contribute towards the betterment of the society. And lastly, we all have our physical abilities. With the help of our body, we can support someone to get at a certain level or in their comfort zone. For help, it is not necessary always, so you should help with money. You can use your five treasure and always help others to get their best in their life. What I believe, my friends, we always heard that disability is nothing but a bad attitude. But in my everyday life, what I face is even with a great attitude, when I go into some restaurant, or even on airport. I can go to the airport by myself, but if I wanted to enter into the aeroplane, I have to see in front of me the stairs. And there I ask stairs, hey stairs, I have a great attitude. Now give me a way or give me a chance to go by myself, by my, by myself into the cabin. But neither happens. Where we are lacking, we have to think beyond. Dear friend, it is something called accessibility. What I found when I was before my injury, I was not at all aware about the difficulties faced by people with disabilities. Even I was not, uh, not at all aware about the something called handicap. And then slowly in 2010, when I got spinal tumor and got operated for the same and become chest down paralyzed, then I realized something called disability and how it feels when you be in that situation. <laughs> Why I am talking about helping others and accessibility? Friends, people with disabilities, they also have dignity in their life and they wanted to do everything in their life by their own. It's all something how we all people contribute. If we wanted to see our nation as a developed country, or when we compare our nation with some developed countries, we will see the main differences is in their infrastructure. This picture you can see, it was taken during the recently concluded uh, general election 2019 and the theme of the election was accessible election. This picture itself shows that how I am getting into my election here. What I believe my friends, we people with disability can do anything and we are doing. We are excelling in each and every aspect of our life. We are doing work, we are going on job, we are
We wanted to go to education also. We wanted to do everything. But as per the report, 2011 surveys, there are 2.7 million people with disabilities are in India. And just because of infrastructure, they are not able to go, they are not able to perform their daily lives. I conduct swimming camps as I, I know swimming. You can see in this picture there are few people on wheelchair. And this is one of the government hostel where we have conducted a sports championship. We wanted to go into the uh, hostel to take rest. But just because there is no ramp facility available, we are waiting for someone else to come and to support us. And this is the situation everywhere. Like every government building or even an office, even a schools also, which is not accessible. So my point is, I just wanted to say that disability is not something which is I am only the responsible. I am responsible because of my disability. It is not. Disability may come in someone's life. Till my 22-23 years of age, I was without disability. I was an international karate player. I represented my country in various national and international karate events. But suddenly, in my, uh, after my uh, graduation, I got spinal tumor and I become chest down paralyzed. So it is something which may come to anybody or it is not only important for people with disability. Pregnant women, children, old age people and one day we all will become old age and accessibility is really very important for everyone. Think just empathize yourself, put someone that if from now onwards, 10 years later, where you will be. We, will, we all will need someone help to go at some places, at some, some to perform some activities. So that's why I am on more focusing and why people with disabilities. Like you can see in this image, we people can do everything. If it is my personal feeling that if I can go out of my home, I can win the world. And so many people with disabilities are doing equivalently good in sports. We are bringing medal even with the higher than the able-bodied people in India. So why we don't have such kind of rules and regulations? Though we are very lucky we got right of person with disability act 2016, but it is something where we are lacking is we are not getting it implemented. With this platform, I just wanted to raise my voice and I wanted to convey that we people wanted to contribute in nation development. We people wanted to make our nation proud. It is a duty of all of us because as Mahatma Gandhi said that be the change you want to see. So I as an individual, I started making, raising my voice to make the country accessible. If uh, with the help of Tata Institute of Social Science in Mumbai, in my early uh, disabilities uh, time we did an access audit for Tata Institute of Social Science and I am very happy that today with the help of Tata Institute of Social Science they have released a book called Access Audit for Beginners and Institute and that book has been released and it is now mandatory for all the technical higher education in Maharashtra and we are uh, we are trying to uh, mandate it to all over the India to make the education, higher education accessible so people with disability can go and they can do the higher education. So with this, uh, I just wanted to say, my friend, that my personal story is I belong from a, a very small family background. Uh, I raised in Bihar where it is always a flooded area and I learned swimming there which was very natural to me because as I wanted to uh, get education I shifted from Bihar to India to Mumbai and here I completed my education I completed till my degree and I was very passionate because I belong from a sports family background so my grandfather he was a wrestler I also wanted to do something sports 
So I choose martial arts, karate. I did my black belt. I did my. I played on various level, national uh, and international level. And before my injury, I got 50 plus medal in my karate. my country on an international level and in 2010 there was an Asian game about to happen in Guangzhou, China. I was one of the best contenders to represent my country. But unfortunately, due to my spinal cord injury, I got a tumor and the operation was not successful and I become chest or paralyzed. So my dream got darkened. Now I was on bed completely for almost one and a half a uh, year and I was thinking what to do. I was crying, crying and getting disappointed, frustrated, nothing to do. Then my mom told me, Shams, you don't have to worry. You have to just believe in yourself and keep constantly working towards your goal and you will definitely achieve it. And that's what happened. I started slowly working. I started going, taking classes of swimming Again, because swimming doctor advised me that it will help you to regenerate your nervous system, and which is very good to uh, help your to maintain your physical body also. And believe me, friend, you once you are a sports person, you are always a sports person, and you will never be quit. So I started again finding the ways and started doing practice, taking parts in state uh, and national level championship in para swimming. And when I got a chance to know that there is something called Paralympic also, where I can represent my country and bring glory for my nation, I started working more hard and I realized my, steam are, my dreams are still not darkened. I can still put some light in this, provided if I will work towards my dream constantly and, um, and I started working on it. Believe me, in 2010, I got spinal tumor. I was on wheelchair. I'm still on wheelchair, and I will be on wheelchair. This is the ha this is the reality because we are still uh, uh, science is still not come up with the medicines to recover so, something called spinal cord injury paraplegia. I'm having a paraplegia, and below chest, I don't have any power or sensation. But I'm having my dream to represent my country in. Paralympic Games and I will definitely do with all of your blessings and supports. So what I am doing here, in 2015, I represented, uh, 2016 I represented my country in uh, Canadian American Games in Canada and there I got bronze medal for my country. Which <laughs> so just 2016 and 17 I officially got uh, to select an inter Indian team and represent my country in World Series Germany. So this helped me to always go forward. Then what I realized, there are so many people like me, they wanted to do a career, they wanted to go out, they wanted to make their life happy and they wanted to live their life, very importantly. They wanted to ha have fun. In 2000, 14, I attempted a 6 km open sea swimming championship conducted by Indian Navy in Bombay and I was the only person to complete that sea swimming in 1 hour, 40 minutes and 20 minutes. <laughs> and then slowly started getting, I thought we people also wanted to go out, so why don't we raise our voice? And then in 2017, I broke my own record of the longest open sea swimming by a paraplegic person. In 2017, on the occasion of Omoja Beach Fest, because we wanted to, uh, to convey the message on this occasion that people with disability wanted to have fun. They also have family. They also wanted to contribute, contribute towards the national development. They also wanted to come out. Please make the beaches accessible. Please make the buildings accessible. And accessible means it should not be only RAM. There should be all kind of accessibility in education for people with visual impairment, everything. We wanted to go on beaches, we wanted to go in park, we wanted to go in restaurant, and we wanted to go on work also. 
So I raise my voice and the uh, people they have promised that they will make at least five beaches accessible. And we got to know that last year one beach was the first Indian beach which become totally accessible for people with disability. So these kind of things we are trying and I'm trying with the support of you. The picture I said last of few people were standing outside of a uh, hostel. It was from Bihar and I raised a letter to the Department of Person with Disability, even Building Department and Sports Department. A single letter was able, I was able to make and because of the impact of that letter was that the government of Bihar released 14,75,000 rupees to make that entire campus accessible. So friends, if I can, with the help of one letter, we can get release of this kind of funds, I urge all of you to come to words and contribute uh, as not in the sense of money, but just raise your voice and believe me, like as an individual or as an entrepreneur, if you are making your home or your offices, just think towards accessibility and make it accessible because I feel that people may come from all walks of life in your business and he or she can be of your service provider or service taker. So what I think is it is not important what we have. It is important what we do with what we have. So if I'm not having, I may have some physical disabilities, but I can use my treasures, whatever I'm having. The God has given me voice, the God has given me my man, mind, and I'm using it to make my country a better place for everyone. And I urge all of you to contribute toward this in any small way, whatever you can, because you are the one, you are the students in this IIT, I, I, I request all of you to come up with the ideas which help, which come up like assistive device to make the life easy for people with disability and to make this country proud. Thank you.